Hello and welcome to this WASP Top 10 training series. Now that we have set up our lab for practice, let's learn the first OWASP Top 10 risk. Yes, you guessed it, it's all about injection. If you haven't set up your lab yet, you have two options. Either follow the instructions on the previous videos, or download the lab VM I already prepared for you. The link is in the description below. By the end of this video, you will be able to answer all the following questions. What is injection? What is the difference between error and blind-based injection? What are some injection flaws? What are some real-world attacks against injection? And how to prevent injection? So let's get started! Injection sits comfortably on the top of the OWASP Top 10 vulnerabilities for the last decade and I don't expect it to lose this rank in the upcoming years. This is for a good reason. In fact, injection is a broad class of vulnerabilities that can be found on pretty much any target. Let's take the definition of the OWASP top 10 for injection and analyze it. Injection flaws such as SQL, NoSQL, OS and LWAP injection occur when untrusted data is sent to an interpreter as part of a command or a query. The attacker's hostile data can trick the interpreter into executing unintended commands or accessing data without proper authorization. I highlighted the key ideas in blue. The first thing to notice is that injection is not specific to a technology. Any feature which expects input from a user and processes it as part of a command or a query is potentially vulnerable to injection. The second thing to point out is how big the attack surface is. How many features you encountered in your digital life which fall under this very use case? I'd say most of them. Even a simple search feature on a website should take your input use it as part of a query to fetch results from a data store, and then returns the results to you. A malicious user can tinker with the search feature in the hope of injecting a malicious input, called a payload, to perform unintended results by the vulnerable system. If successful, the malicious user can trick the application to return sensitive information, modify data, or delete it altogether. When exploiting injection, you will typically have two use cases. The first is that the application processes your input and returns naive results, which include the error message that your payload triggered. In this case, you are somewhat guided by the application for what to do next. For example, you inject a malformed SQL query, as simple as a single quote, and you get, you have an error in your SQL syntax. Check the manual that corresponds to MySQL server version for the right syntax to use this tells you a lot. 1. You have successfully found a SQL injection. Congratulations! 2. The database engine is MySQL. 3. You get part of the SQL query where the injection happens. 4. You've got a solid bug to report if you are a bug bounty hunter. The other use case is where you don't have a direct and naive feedback from the application, but rather a hint or nothing at all. In this case, we call it a blind injection. It requires more effort, but it's still possible to exploit it. There are many techniques you can apply to infer data. We discuss that in the next video, where we cover SQL injection with many examples. Now that you have a general understanding of how injection works in general, let's dive into some instances of OWASP top 10 injection flaws. There are many subsets of the injection class. The list is growing, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you get updated as soon as I publish a new video. We've barely covered this, but SQL injection is a flaw in the way user data is being handled inside a SQL query. Basically, a developer concatenates the expected input directly into a SQL query. SQL injection is one of the most impactful vulnerabilities that exist. It affects confidentiality, integrity and availability. We will cover that in detail in the next video. Operating system command injection is a flaw in the way user data is being handled inside an operating system command. Basically, a developer insecurely puts the expected input directly into the operating system command. OS injection is one of the deadliest vulnerabilities that exist in the realm of injection vulnerabilities. It allows an attacker to have a remote shell on your vulnerable server. As of its impact, it can affect confidentiality, integrity, and availability. 
LLAP injection is a flaw in the way user input is being handled inside an LLAP query. LLAP stands for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. It is a client-server open industry standard which can be used to access and maintain directory information services. For example, it can be used to authenticate a user, search items, modify entries, etc. The following are real-world breaches, a SQL injection in the telecoms British provided TalkTalk. Talk. Over 4 million customers were at risk. More than 150k customers' data was compromised. The company was fined 400k pounds. On March 2019, Magento urged its users to upgrade to the latest version of Magento. One of the severe vulnerabilities patched was a SQL injection. Next, we have the HTTP client script code execution vulnerability. On its advisory on May 2018, Red Hat announced that Red Hat Enterprise Linux 6 and 7 are vulnerable to a command injection flaw found in a script included in the DHGP client. Since injection flaws reside in the way user inputs are handled, a developer should never ever trust any user input. If you do, you are exposing your asset to security risks which can be damaging. In general, you should perform proper input validation. You have to sanitize and normalize your input. You can also use safe APIs, for example, using an ORM is far better and secure than building SQL queries on your own. The OWASP cheat sheet covers the guidelines you need to follow when writing your code. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you're not subscribed yet, Hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so that you know when a new video is up. Until then, stay curious, learn new things, and go find some bugs.